1995 is a watershed year. You form the Bacon Brothers. Why? I guess it really, it, first of all, uh, Kevin's friend Harry. <laughs> so Harry reemerges. Harry, Harry reemerges from the electric factory again. And he will emerge later on in our lives. So, uh, he was working at a club in Philadelphia, and until we formed the band, Kevin and my musical collaboration was based on get rich quick, write a hit song, um, write a song about a fad. Uh, when roller disco was big, we did a wheel boogie. Um, <laughs> when people were all wearing shirts with alligators, we did preppy rock. Um, and then as Kevin got into movies, we would write and fail songs for his movies, and they were, everyone was completely rejected. And, um, I think that looking back, that we were on, I was also gonna make Kevin the next Michael Jackson. And, um, when we formed the band and Harry asked us to come down and play in Philadelphia, I think we realized that people were actually gonna come and pay money to hear us sing, and there'd be a lot of expectations. We had to find what, what is it that we do the best and I think in terms of all those influences, I think that's when we started choosing, you know, I love harmonies. Uh, you know, when people sing harmony, I melt. Um, I love acoustic music, but I also love rock music. Um, I play the cello, um, but I also play the electric guitar. So we kind of took what we felt were our best influences of things that we would do best, and we tried to make the, the band's presentation something not a get rich quick scheme, even though we had a big movie star in the band. We played little tiny clubs. We only had two backup guys. It was a sub rock and roll sound. We had a percussionist, but not a drum kit. And we played in little clubs all up and down the East Coast. And I was the tour manager and the food getter and the driver and all and everything. Um, and I think that I, I feel really good that we broke the band out really small. And it would be very easy to look at our band and say, well, you got a movie star, and obviously everything went really well. We've spent a lot of time, a lot of energy trying to get our shows to a point that we're really proud of them, and we feel that when people come to hear us, whether they like the kind of music we do, uh, that we're professional and we're putting on a really good show. <laughs>